Peace and blessings in this corner, Boston 24. Good afternoon, everyone. Hope all is well. I'm doing pretty good myself. You know, everything is pretty good. God is good. God is great. I can't really complain. And, um, you know, we here, all right? So um, I want to talk about, of course, the Masterpiece Boxing Exhibition on Saturday by Shakur Stevenson against Oscar Valdez. You know, Shakur Stevenson is a master boxer, offense and defense, extraordinary fight, man, okay? Doing whatever he wanted to do. Now, you know, I wanted him to stop Valdez. I listened to an interview after the fight by his grandfather. He said Shakur did hurt his hand. He didn't break it, but he hurt his hand. So maybe, you know, that could be attributed to why he didn't stop him because I thought he should have stopped him, um, could have stopped him. And, um, you know, especially after that knockdown, man, he had that momentum going. But it's okay because he still outboxed him, right, unanimously for 12 rounds. And it was an awesome fight, okay? Um, and what I like about it, right, people like to criticize because they say Shakur don't have this and Shakur don't got no power and all of that. But... Power is not knockout. You don't have to knock everybody out for, for power. Power is just having enough where you keep somebody at bay, okay? And you know that if I come in, I'm going to get tapped, and I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to want to do it. And Oscar Valdez said himself after the fight, he said Shakur has speed and power. And he also said, I didn't want to get counted coming in. So what does that mean? He didn't want to get tagged. And once he got in there with him, he realized, yo, this dude got power. People saying he ain't got no power. He just got boxing skills, but he got enough to keep me at bay. He got enough to tap my face up. He got enough to make me rip, to, to make me cautious on just coming in because that's what Oscar Valdez does, right? Then you got the critics that want to talk about how much bigger Shakur was than Oscar Valdez. Wow. I never, it's, you know, and I'm, you know what? It's sad that I got to even respond to this and even talk about this. Because, man, it's just a bunch of people, man, that don't know boxing, man. Size has nothing to do with boxing. Never has and never will be. It's always the skills. You could be bigger than me, taller than me, stronger than me. But if I got better skills, I'm going to beat you all day. Okay? And if I got a better boxing IQ than you, I'm going to beat you all day. Y'all acting like Shakur was so much bigger than Valdez. Are you serious? Are you serious? They're similar in height. Watch the weigh-in. Watch the face-off. They're similar in height, okay? He may have a wider... Uh, Valdez is built like he's built. He has a slim frame. And Shakur Stevenson has a, a, a little bigger frame. That don't mean that he's so much bigger than him. They're the same height, man, and weigh about the same, okay? Shakur might weigh a little bit more than him when they're not fighting, but... He ain't too much bigger than him, man. He's 130 pounds. He weighed in at 130 pounds just like him, okay? He ain't no weight bully at 130. So just cut it out, man, okay? Miguel Burchett was way bigger than Valdez. Now, that's something you're talking about. He's bigger than Shakur Stevenson. But didn't Valdez knock him out? So, man, come on, man. Stop it, all right? Learn, think before you talk, some of you people, man, on, on, on these boxing channels and making comments, man. Just don't say stuff just to say it because you're looking for conversation. Or you just want to be uh, an irritant person. Just just have somebody react. Okay, stop. Anyway, Shakur Stevenson put on a master boxing performance. And I, I, I said, I, I had uh, predicted he was going to stop him. I said either stoppage or unanimous decision. And so I'm not mad because he didn't stop him. And, and, and I'm not, uh, my knowledge isn't any less because he didn't stop them, because he didn't stop them, you know? Somebody said, well, oh, man, you know, you, you was totally wrong. I wasn't wrong. I said stoppage or unanimous decision. Didn't he get a unanimous decision? Okay. So he, I, how am I wrong? I'm not, listen, I don't know it all anyway. I could be wrong on a fight prediction. I could be wrong on a fight, but that's very rare for me. I know what I'm talking about. Okay, and the bottom line is I knew he was going to beat him. And he did it unanimously. And like he said, he beat Valdez. He beat Reynoso. He beat Valdez in the ring. He beat uh, Reynoso, Eddie Reynoso, because he trained him. 
and he beat Canelo because Canelo gave him tips. He beat all three of them. That's a mental thing. I get exactly what he's saying. And that's real. Okay, only thing I would say about Shakur is that I, I just wanted him, to, he could have stopped him. I also just felt like he could have threw a little more body shots. You know what I mean? But it's okay, it was still a great performance. I'm not taking nothing from him. That's just what I thought. But he's the one in the ring. Looking from the outside in, don't always, it ain't always what it seemed. I still say he could do more body shots, a little bit more, and broke him down a little bit more. But he didn't do it. He still boxed great. Okay? So now, here we come with the Tank Davis. Tank Davis could knock him out. Listen, Tank Davis is smaller than Valdez. Shorter reach. So how is he going to get inside on Shakur Stevenson? That's number one. All right, he's going to be at a distance and Shakur going to be breaking him down. He's going to be getting tapped up a lot. He'll be hit more than any. He'll be hit in a fight with Shakur Stevenson more than he's ever been hit in all his fights. And that will not be good. Shakur will totally outbox him. Okay, and he knows range. And he knows with Tank, yeah, that Tank is a little stronger. So he will, he will definitely keep him at bay. However, Tank ain't knocking nobody out with no one shot anyway. Y'all keep talking about all this power. I don't care who it is, Jeff Mayweather, whatever. They don't know it all. Nobody knows it all, okay? Jeff Mayweather, love him, but he's biased when it comes to Tank, okay? Tank ain't got no one-punch power. He ain't knocking nobody out with one shot. It's usually a TKO, okay? He, he, he only, oh, well, he did it with Santa Cruz, a lightweight. A featherweight. Okay, we give him that. If you want to give him credit for that. I don't give him credit for knocking out a featherweight. Damn near a bantamweight <laughs> with Santa Cruz. Okay? 122 pounds, 226 pounds, and he came up to fight Tank. Come on, man. I'm not giving him the credit for that. But anyway, he caught him with a nice shot, uppercut. He did stop him with that one shot. But he didn't do that to Barrios. Barrios took that shot, came back, and then it was a TKO. And he usually stopped and do the TKO. And... Um, Isaac Cruz, he tested Tank a little bit, okay? He didn't hurt him at all. So let's keep it real. If you're a boxer and you can box, you can beat um, Tank Davis, all right? So we're not going to try to take nothing away from Shakur. Now, the option that he has now is either move up to 135 or he could fight Ogawa or Gutierrez, who has the other two belts. I think Ogawa has the IBF and Gutierrez has the WBA. If I'm not mistaken, right? Um, so he can fight. He can fight both of them, and he could unify. He could be the. I mean, he could be the undisputed champion at 135. I mean, at 130, or he could just move up to 135. But what I would do, if I was Shakur, I would go ahead. If you're gonna do, if you're gonna be undisputed, then I would try to make one of those fights in July, and then I'm try to make a fight in December and just close it out. That's what I would do, and get it out the way, and then make your move to 135. Or this is April. You don't want to just sit around till next year and say I'm gonna go to 135. At least get one of them fights in this year, and get the belt. You don't need all three, man. You don't have to be undisputed because undisputed was never uh, four belts anyway. It is now, and it's okay that WBO belt they added, but you know, to be unified is cool too because of him, what he's doing. It's different than Errol Spence and Crawford because Crawford is that big star and, and, and Errol Spence can't really be anything without beating Crawford, all right? Which he won't beat Crawford, but I'm just saying that WBO belt means more because of the status that Crawford is of, okay? But in this 130-pound division, um, those guys, no disrespect, Gutierrez and Ogawa, they, they, they're not on that status, okay? Even both of them put together. So Shakur can fight them or he don't have to. If I was him, I would either, I would do it though. I would fight in July and fight in December, close out the year, then 135 next year. You good, you undisputed at 130. That's what I would do, okay? But I don't know, you know, how they're how they gonna, how they gonna work it. All right. Um, so oh, that's all I really got, man. You know, Shakur is, you know, awesome, a great fighter. And, um, you know, he really did his thing. And I think he outboxes anybody at 135. I think he'll, he'll, I think he'll destroy Lomachenko 
And when Checo, I mean, he'll, he'll eat him up. I think he'll, he'll beat Devin Haney in a good fight. Okay, Devin Haney ain't no joke either now. And I think he could definitely outbox Tank, man. I'm just telling you, man. Anybody at 135 can get it. Lopez, he outboxes all of them because he's just smart. And he's only going to get smarter. He's only going to get better. And he's only going to get stronger. He's, he ain't even grown into his man strength yet. Wait till he's 25, 26. He's really going to be putting it on dude. Okay? So that's what I got, man. Shakur Stevenson, congratulations to, to you. Newark, New Jersey, stand up. Congratulations to his grandfather's whole team. Y'all doing a phenomenal job. Keep up the good work. Anybody got any comments? And, you know, leave your comments. Just don't get crazy, all right? Don't get disrespectful. You don't have to agree with everything I say. But if you don't, then just keep it moving, man. I, I'm not here for that, okay? Please subscribe to the page. And, um, you know, we'll keep giving good content. If you think my content is not that good, listen, you don't have to be bothered. You don't have to say anything, you know? But I, I don't want to get into no, you know, I'm not getting into no back and forth with anything think it with anybody disrespectfully about the knowledge that I have and the comments that I'm making on boxing and on the fighters. Okay? It is what it is. Again, I don't know it all, but I know some things. But if you know more than me and you think you know it all, then start your channel and do your thing. But you don't have to try to disrespect me or try to downgrade me because you don't like what I'm saying about any fighter or about any fight. Okay? So this is In This Corner Boxing 24. Peace and blessings. Enjoy the rest of your day.